Hi guys, my name's Andy, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play your E minor pentatonic scale in open position, which means at this part of the neck. This is appropriate as your first ever scale that you have learned on guitar, and if you would like to learn some blues or rock riffs and licks, then this is what you want to be learning. Um, now when I was first learning guitar, I used to think that scales were made up by guitar teachers to make me hate practicing guitar. However, it's like learning your ABC before uh, you learn a language. And if music is another language, we're going to need to learn this scale to know the order of the notes and which notes that we, we want to be learning. And to prove this to you, I'm going to then shoot another 10 videos showing you 10 songs and 10 guitar riffs that you can play using this one scale. So without further ado, let's learn our notes and get you in for a close-up. So this is the E minor pentatonic scale. Now what do those words actually mean? Well the first letter, the E, tells us that we're in the key of E and that we're going to start on an E note. So we're going to start on your thickest E string, your open E string, no hands needed. Because we're using open strings that's why we call this in an open position because we're going to be using each of the open strings. And from there we have five notes per octave. So pent is five and tonic means notes, so it's a five note scale. Scale just means kind of sequence of notes, so five sequence, five notes in a sequence I guess. And uh, to be able to play it we need to assign a finger to a fret. This is very common for any rock lifts, lead guitar, uh, anything you want to be playing that involves single strings, we will assign a finger to a fret. And we're going to assign your middle finger so the first fret that has a dot on it most likely on your guitar on the top and uh, we're going to assign whatever frets, whatever strings we need to play at this fret we're going to play with your middle finger and then the second fret we're going to assign to your first finger. We're going to start off playing that open string again and then playing your middle finger at third fret on the same string and we're going to have two notes per string throughout this whole scale. So open to three. And if you check out the tab or the chord sheet that's on my website, the lesson write-up for this lesson, it will really help you. Um, click the link to my website and it will you will see on the tab sheet that we have zero and then three. They're the first two notes that we've played. From there we go down a string and play the open A. And then it's second fret on the A string. And then we're down one more string open, open D, and then 2nd fret on the D string, and we're going to pause there because that is one octave of this minor pentatonic scale. You may have even played the full scale shape before, but I would like us to always pause here. There's a reason for that that I will cover in a second. Let's just do that one more time. Open, 3 on the same string, open, a string, 2nd fret on the A string, open on the D string, and then open, 2nd fret on the D string. Now the reason we're pausing there is this is the location of most rock riffs or rhythm guitar. So um, we've got a ton of riffs here that we're going to be covering. Um, so, um, 20th Century Boy, many riffs that use the octave like walk this way. They kind of stop here. Um, they don't tend to cross over too much onto the second octave, which is this sequence of notes, because that sequence of notes tends to be reserved more for lead guitar. Not 100%, but that they, they definitely tend to be separated. It's very rare that we'll go from one to the other though there are examples of that, so I'd just like us to kind of memorize this pause. So, ascending, going up the sequence of notes, and then when we come back down, which I'd like to do from here just first of all, it's really important that we do it in the right order. So we go 2nd fret to open, 2nd fret to open, 3rd fret to open. And that's so that we're not missing anything out or jumbling up the sequence at all. We've gone low to high and then straight back down again. If you do them out of this order, 
you're purposefully kind of jumping around the sequence of notes. And it would be like learning your A, B, C, D, E, F, G in an incorrect order. Basically, how would you know if you've missed any notes out if you don't learn them in the right order? So this is the idea. And the way you want to practice that is just have a nice, regular pulse, maybe just a little bit faster than once per second, and play them at regular intervals. And also, we want to try and minimise any spaces between the notes also. But, first of all, just got to kind of make sure we're playing the right notes. And from there, we're going to walk up that sequence one more time to that second fret on the D string, which is an E note. So that's kind of what an octave means. It's the next letter that is at a different pitch, but it's, it's the same letter. So E to the next E that we have. Um, and from this E, we play that E again, and we're going to do the second octave. We're going to go open third string. 2nd fret on that 3rd string, open B string, 3rd fret on the B string, and then open E. And again, I would like us to pause on that open E, although we do also have 3rd fret on that E string as well. It's very much seen as an extra note, and as you will see in all these uh, examples I have lined up of real songs and real riffs that use this scale, they start and end at the octaves. They're going to start and end on the E notes. So it's really important to practice from the E's and to an E. So we're going to start on the E from that second fret on the uh, D string again. Start from there. And then we have open, third string, second fret on the 3rd string, open again, on the B string, 3rd fret, on the B string, and then open, E string. Now it's likely that you're finding that 2nd octave, the thinner strings, harder than the 1st lot. And again, that's a really important factor when you're learning this as well. There's an awful lot of notes there to learn get that first octave really memorized first before you move on to the second one. If you need to, you can always whiz back in this video and see that if, uh, if you need to go over it again. Let's just go over the second octave, the thinner strings, in reverse order, the same as before. So we go high up the scale, which is kind of down the guitar, but that increases the pitch, so the pitch goes higher, so that's up. And then back down, physically back up the guitar, which is what we're going to do now, starting from the open string. 3rd fret on the B, open 2nd string, 2nd fret on the G string, open G, and then finish that octave at 2nd fret on the D string. And then again we can continue all the way down there after we've paused, 2nd again, the E note, open, 2nd fret, open, 3rd fret, and open. If you're struggling with your picking hand and you're really unsure of how you should be holding a pick and everything, you should be checking out this video where I show you the most common mistakes that people make with their right hand, show you how to use a pick correctly and give you some pointers on that. If you're struggling with just the notes at this side and kind of memorizing the fretboard, um, just focus on that thicker octave, on those thicker three strings, the wound strings. As I say, this is appropriate for uh, acoustic or electric guitar, so don't worry about that. Give it a go. And then, as soon as you're confident and you can do this four times down and back, so one cycle, and turning around, that. That's one cycle, and the way you want to practice this is going up and then back down. That's one cycle, turn around straight away without repeating any notes. We just play each note once. And we go up and back down to show yourself and to show me that you can 
Ooh. you have complete freedom of those notes. You have the knowledge of those notes because we have to know them in order before we learn to jumble them up and learn the riffs that I've got in this series of videos. Um, okay, so hopefully that's something that you'll, you'll be able to tackle within the next couple of days and then you can get straight on to these rock riffs. Um, we have this lower half and then the higher lower octave for your rock riffs, your higher octave for more lead guitar, which is this second series of notes. And uh, you can also practice it all in one go to kind of showcase that you can do that as well. And there's a, one or two songs that do kind of mix the octaves up. So that's how to play this E minor pentatonic scale in open position. Please check out any of the videos on my playlist of songs that you can play using this scale. And there's lots of cool blues riffs and little lead lines in there too. Uh, please subscribe if you like what I do. Subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Thanks very much, guys.